Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Mana to Live By. One day, at a time. 5 Minute Devotionals. Today is April 16th. Today's reading is from 2 Corinthians 6 9. As dying, and, behold, we live. The Bible is full of paradoxes. What is a paradox? Paradox is a truth that seems contrary to what we would, normally suppose. Or truth that seems to contradict with another. G.K. Chesterton Maintained that, paradox is truth, standing on its head to attract attention. Here are a few of the paradoxes, trying to attract our attention. 1. We save our lives? By losing them. We lose our lives? By loving them. Mark 8 35. 2. We are strong? When we are weak, 2 Corinthians 12 10, and powerless in our own strength, John 15 5. 3. We find perfect freedom in being Christ's slave and bondage? When we are free from his yoke, Romans 6 17 20. 4. We find more joy in sharing what we have? Than we do in getting more. Or, in the words of our Lord, it is more blessed to give than, to receive, Acts 20 35. 5. We increase what we have through scattering it, and experience poverty through hoarding it, Proverbs 11 24. 6. We have a new nature that cannot sin, 1 John 3 9. Yet everything we do is stained by sin, 1 John 1 8. 7. We conquer by yielding, Genesis 32 24-28, and experience defeat by fighting, 1 Peter 5 5. 8. We are abased when we exalt ourselves, but he exalts us when we abase ourselves, Luke 14 11. 9. We are enlarged by pressure, Psalm 4 1, and shrunk by prosperity, Jeremiah 48-11. 10. We can possess all things, yet have nothing. We can be poor, yet make many rich, 2 Corinthians 6.10. 11. When we are wise, in man's view, then we are fools, in God's sight, but when we are fools for Christ's sake, then we are truly wise, 1 Corinthians 1 20, 21. 12. The life of faith brings freedom from care and anxiety. The life of sight brings fear of loss through moths, rust, and thieves. Matthew 6:19. The following is a selected poem written by a poet, seeing the Christian life as paradox from start to finish. How strange is the course that a person must steer? How perplexed is the path he must tread? The hope of his happiness rises from fear and his life, he receives from the dead. His fairest pretensions must wholly be waived, and his best resolutions be crossed, nor can he expect to be perfectly saved, till he finds himself utterly lost. When all this is done, and his heart is assured of the total remission of sins, when his pardon is signed and his peace is procured, from that moment his conflict begins. Let us pray, Lord, I acknowledge that many a thing in life appears paradoxical and is beyond my understanding, but help me, to lean more on the leading of your Holy Spirit, and your word. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Today's devotional, originally written by William McDonald. Adapted and developed, as Mana to Live By, for audio and video screen by, Don Benjamin. For previous day's devotionals, please click the channel link given in the description box below. Thank you, and to God be the glory.